So you played a member of the military in the largest film of our time. How do you think that War Horse is going to play into the larger legacy of military films and war films? Oh, we'll have to see, won't we? You know, uh, uh, World War I, where this is set, of course, is not quite as popular cinematically as has been World War II. Uh, I think there are probably lots of reasons for that, but, uh, but in any case, it was a... Um, I th it was a it was a bloodbath of a war. They all are, but World War One was a complete tragedy. Uh, so I I don't know. I think that I think it's a story. The war, the way we understand war is not uh, through reading history. It's through the the stories of men and women and and horses. You know, it's through very specific, very simple stories where you see the the price that people have to pay uh, in their lives. I think. Were you, were you familiar with War Horse, the book, or the play? I'd seen the play right here at Lincoln Center, yeah, and it was magnificent. What do you think that Steven Spielberg can bring to this story cinematically? Well, his sensibility seems to me to, to tie right in with this subject matter. There's no filmmaker I can think of. I'm sure there are many filmmakers who do a brilliant job with it, but he is such a natural... I, I can just know that he would respond to this material. Uh, Spielberg is always... There are so many young people in many of his films, and he's always had a great sense of wonder, of empathy for the young, for their viewpoint, great sympathy with how they see things, and I think that that'll really fit really well into this film. His sensibility will really play well here. So you had to work on a bit of an accent for this, right? I was did, that a challenge? It was a challenge uh, because I'd never known anything like it before, and obviously I don't speak with a French accent, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I think just like learning to ride was a good experience, uh, learning to have the accent was a good experience because uh, I think the most important thing in life is to always learn new things. And so um, I'm very grateful that I got two opportunities in one film. How, how, tell me what it was like to work with Steven Spielberg on your very first film. Was yeah. that overwhelming? Yeah, well, a bit overwhelming at first, but everyone's very approachable on set. So it means that um, I wasn't too too crazed, too, too overwhelmed because um, it, was, it soon became nearly like a family that everyone, we, we, I was, it was very easy to talk to, um, yeah. Do you have one sort of quintessential moment of working with the horses and one with working with Steven Spielberg, one story that says it all? Um, well, I think you can get um, both the stories in one, um, which is when, um, when the horses are in my bedroom and the horses are so majestically big in such a small space and um, and the horses you can tell that they have their own personality because they started uh, playing around with the spoons eating the flowers um, sort of looking for, for treats around the room and so um, and it shows uh, Spielberg's creativity as well as the horses undeniable characters. <laughs> You've said that taking on this role was like taking on a classical silent film character. Can you talk about that a little bit? Um, yes, that's something that Stephen put to me on the last day of filming. Um, it wasn't something I'd ever thought about actually. I kind of wish he'd said it to me at the start because uh, it was, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's the archetypal character of the sleazy money grabbing um, immoral landlord and uh, yeah that character does go back to the silent days I suppose so um, you know that's that's me always nice to play a villain how do you think this fits into the larger body of Steven Spielberg's work this film War Horse well it fits very well doesn't it I mean it's got all these major themes in it of coming home and courage and resilience and you know wide-eyed wonder bravery hope it's you know it's, it's, a, it's a real real cast iron Steven Spielberg film and it's nice to be in one that is, you know. At what point are you standing on set and do you say, holy heck, I am in a Steven Spielberg film? Every point. Um, <laughs> yeah. Every day, pretty much. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was surreal and incredible. It was brilliant. Yeah. What did you learn about World War I working on this movie? Uh, a lot. And um, especially through reading a lot. And, um, and there was historians there. Um, and... Um, people that we that we worked with beforehand and it was it was a horrific experience for the for the people that were there and a lot of people from all over the world died and um 
yeah, it was, it was horrible for the people that were there. Do you have your one quintessential Steven Spielberg directed me moment from this film? One moment that says it all. It's actually one moment that was cut from the uh, actual film. Uh, it's during the, uh, the, the scene in the field where um, Albert is coaxing the horse. Um, <laughs> he, he finally gets the horse to come to him, gets Joey to come to him. And, um, <laughs> and so jo there was a shot where Joey ran past me and I had to look round. And uh, in shot, um, so while, whilst it was going, Stephen just shouted out, okay, Matt, celebrate, dance, dance, dance. And so I had to get up and do this little jig and, um, and this, uh, this little celebration. And uh, Stephen came up to me later and said, Matt, we were laughing so much in the uh, editing room, but we've had to cut it. And they replaced it later with, uh, with, uh, with a different shot. Um, but th that was surreal and incredible as well. It was all a bit, all a bit mental.